Hi, it's Dean Holland from DeanHolland.com with a tutorial video showing you how to install Google Analytics to your WordPress blog the easy way. Okay, first thing you want to do is to log into your WordPress admin area like I've done here. Now, first of all, we're looking for a, a, a plugin. We need to install a plugin basically, and that's what makes this so simple. We just install a plugin uh, and add our Google Analytics code or a short bit of account ID from Google Analytics uh, and insert it into the settings of the plugin, and away you go. That's it. No messing around with any HTML code or anything complicated. So, let me just show you how to do this now. So, if you just scroll down to the plugin section, as you can see here, you want to click on Add New. Once that page loads, as you can see here, you can type in a search term. So if you just type in Google excuse me, Analytics into that box and click, click search, what this will now do is, there's, there's quite a lot of plugins to do with Google Analytics, but there's, there's one in particular that I suggest you go for, and that's Google Analytics for WordPress. So if you see, it's just off screen here, but if you see to the right of that where it says Google Analytics for WordPress, um, there's a description about here about what the plugin does uh, and who created it. And just to the right of that description is a button that says install. So if you just go ahead and click install, then what that'll do is that'll install that plugin for you um, into your settings and you can, they can then play around with it. Now I've already got it installed so I'm not going to click install again but if you just click install what that will do is it will go onto a new screen and tell you that it's installing and then it will tell you it's installed. Then what you do if you just scroll down the page again to your settings section here in the right hand in the left hand menu you'll see now an option for Google Analytics so if you just go ahead now and click on that um, you can now see here the settings for it. So just in this section here you can see it asks you to insert your Google Analytics account ID. So if I just take you now and show you exactly where to get your account ID, assuming it is now that you've got an, you've signed up for a free Google Analytics account at the link just below this video. So let me show you how to do that now. Okay, so here we are. I've just logged into my Google Analytics account. Now the first screen that will come up is the screen where it shows you the different accounts that you've got, which would be the different domains. You probably only just got one if you're only just starting out. So now what you need to put to input into that plugin is basically just this bit of code here. It says you, it'll say your domain, your domain name here. Uh, that's actually an old one of mine. Um, and here, this UA, and then the number, that is the code that you need, that entire bit from the U all the way to the last number. So if you just go ahead and actually highlight that, you can just highlight it with your cursor, just like that, and then just copy it, just right click and click copy. Um, then if you just go back over to your your blog's admin area, where to the settings for the Google Analytics plugin, if you then just input into this area here where it asks you for your Google Analytics account ID if you just go ahead and you can just paste that into there if you just right click and then click paste that will paste that in and then all you do is I'd leave it in the footer as default and then you just click your update Google Analytics settings button um, you may also have to click another button on this screen to activate this, the, uh, the plugin um, I'll just show you where you could actually do that also if it isn't automatically activated if you just come to your plugins screen if you now click on the installed section this will bring up a list of all your plugins that you've got as you can see here there's the Google Analytics for WordPress one here it says deactivate but it may, if it says activate then click that and activate it and then once you've installed that code within a day or two Google Analytics will start giving you data be aware it doesn't pick it up immediately so just give it a bit of chance and that's exactly how you do it nice and simple guys Okay, thank you.